Curious about which greenhouse coverings are best for light transmission? Hi, I'm Trevor from Greenhouse Emporium, and today we're testing 12 different materials to bring you the results and some tips on optimizing light for your plants. So watch till the end and learn when reducing light can actually be beneficial. Why does light transmission matter? As the lifeblood of plants, the right light ensures that they thrive. By choosing the best covering for your climate, you'll give your plants what they need. Plus, proper light transmission can cut down on energy costs, making your greenhouse more sustainable. Light changes with the season and time of day. So understanding this helps you design your greenhouse, make sure that it works year round. Lastly, materials vary in cost, lifespan, and insulation. Knowing how they transmit light helps you make the best decision for your needs. Oh, hey, did you know that the amount of light your plants receive can change up to 50% from summer to winter? Choosing the right covering material helps manage all of these seasonal changes effectively. So why this test? The whole glass versus polycarbonate, which one is better debate, is common, but real testing beats theory. So we're testing 12 different materials to see how they actually perform. Before we jump into the tests, I wanted to address an important update or an important change to this revised version. In our original video, we measured light transmission using LUX, which tells us the amount of visible light to the human eye. However, one of our sharp-eyed viewers rightfully pointed out that LUX isn't the best measurement for plant growth. For plants, what matters most is PAR, P-A-R, photosynthetical active radiation, the part of the light spectrum that's plant used to grow. We're digging into this topic in an upcoming video, so make sure to subscribe. Now, Lux measures the brightness of light, but PAR measures the quality of light in terms of how much usable energy plants can absorb. So in this updated video, we'll be using a PAR meter to give you a more accurate representation of how well each greenhouse covering transmits the lights that plants need to thrive. You can check out our original video in the link below if you want to compare the results with Lux. So here's our setup. It's a sunny day without any clouds. This box with a cup cut out holds the PAR sensor for a consistent reading. Are you ready? Let's get testing. We started our test without a covering to establish a reference point. Our PAR sensor measured 1521 micromoles per square meter per second, which gives us a baseline to compare other materials. Now, before we dive into the results, let's quickly explain PPFD, photosynthetic photon flux density. PPFD is a measurement of how much usable light measured in micromoles per square meter per second is actually reaching your plants. This is crucial because the more light energy plants receive, the better they can grow and thrive. Now back to the results. As expected, four millimeter glass scored the highest light transmission, clocking in at 1322 micromoles, which is about 87% light transmission. Research suggests glass typically allows between 88 to 90% of light through it. So our results are right in line with this. Now coming in second is single layer six mil polyfilm, followed closely by the eight millimeter polycarbonate from Riga greenhouses. What's interesting is the eight millimeter polycarbonate actually outperformed thinner four millimeter polycarbonate, which is commonly found in budget friendly greenhouses or season extenders. We often say that thicker the material, the less light transmission you get. But in this case, that just wasn't true. However, as expected, the thicker 10 millimeter and 16 millimeter polycarbonate panels did show a slight decrease in light transmission, but only about 3%. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, did you know that polycarbonate can block harmful UV rays while still allowing beneficial light to pass through, making it a great option for greenhouses? One surprise was how the light diffusing panels performed. We assume that they would have the highest light transmission rates because they are designed for serious growers. To understand why the numbers were lower than expected, we consulted with David from Riverstone Industries. He explained that in real world conditions, light enters the greenhouses through various angles and bounces around and light diffusing panels work best in such an environment. So while the test numbers might look lower, 
these panels are still a solid choice for growers. We'll cover this in, in much more detail in upcoming videos. So be sure to subscribe for more. Hit that like button. Now, in extreme environments like deserts, reducing light transmission can be crucial. Our tests show that the eight millimeter tinted polycarbonate from Mont Mojave in Mohit greenhouses provide about a 40% light transmission, offering excellent protection for plants in high sun intense environments. You may have noticed that our readings also measure the red, the green, and blue parts of the light spectrum. This is where things get really interesting for specific plant needs. Okay, for, for example, if you're growing crops that need a lot of light for flowering and fruiting, like tomatoes and peppers, materials that preserve that, you know, that preserve more red light will help maximize your yield. If you're growing leafy greens, blue light becomes more important for vegetable growth. In our tests, none of the coverings show drastic differences in how they transmit red, green, or blue light. Most hover around the same percentages as their general transmission rates, with slightly higher red transmissions compared to green or blue. However, the biggest deviation were seen in light diffusion and tinted panels. So in general, all the, all the greenhouse coverings we've tested will provide your plants with the light they need to thrive. Our research showed that plants typically need a PPFD range of around 200 to 400 micromoles during the vegetative state. As they transition to flowering, they require more light, usually between the 400 to 800 micromole range, which our tested coverings are capable of providing. One thing to keep in mind is that where you place your plants inside your greenhouse can significantly impact how much light they receive. Plants positioned directly under the roof or in areas which unobstructed views of the sky, which will, will provide more light, while those on lower shelves are shaded by other structures, will receive less. So keep this in mind when you're planning your layout to ensure every plant gets the light that it needs. One additional thing we tested was the transmission of light through clean versus dirty panels. Sure enough, there was a significant drop. So make sure to clean your panels in the fall and early spring to get the maximum light for your plants. Now remember, this test was not scientific, but gave us some very valuable insights. We hope you learned as much as we did. Do you still have questions? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.